Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at the Epcot Resort Loop, basically the boardwalk, and I'm hopping around to different bars and different restaurants here and just enjoying some adult beverages with my friend Brian at Orlando Theme Park 360. And right now we're at the Blue Zoo, well Todd English is Blue Zoo, and I really like it a lot here. So, let's go do this. So for the first drink, I had the beer that is actually exclusive here to the Swan and Dolphin, but Brian's gonna let me try some of his whiskey. Now, I'm not very much of a whiskey drinker, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's a Macallan 15, and uh, I don't know. I hope I like it. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good to point out, and I really didn't know what was happening or experiencing, but when I did taste that, Brian was telling me that how it doesn't have an aftertaste, and I was like, wait a second. It really didn't. I, I took the sip, and I was like, hmm. But then afterwards, nothing. So it's kind of crazy. So back to the beer. This is the beer that I got. It's the Brew Hub Fines and Feathers Pale Ale, and it's exclusive to the Swan and Dolphin. But also, we got this kind of strange Hidden Springs Ale Works, and it's an IPA with an IBU of 0%. If you're not sure what the IBU stands for, it's a way to scale better bitterness. So it's a zero bitter bitterness, but I wonder, is it really bitter? Because it's an IPA. I don't know. The uh, Fines uh, Pale Ale, this is actually phenomenal. I really do like it. It's got a sweet taste and then a little kick afterwards. And I like these glasses. I have to say though, the IPA is still an IPA. It's very hoppy, but it doesn't have that taste where you're like afterwards. But you do taste the hop, so don't be fooled. And just take a look at this bar area. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Brian is going Japanese bourbon. He's vlogging. Yeah, I like it. Fancy. So. This mysterious bourbon, Brian started talking to the manager, and this is not on the menu. It's a Japanese bourbon, but brewed or distilled in Kentucky. <laughs> wow, he loves it. I'll give it a sip. Just a sip. I feel like I am uh, becoming a, a bourbon whiskey drinker, even though this is only two sips. I had one sip of the, the Macallan 15. Oh, and you like that? Yeah, it was okay. That's and different though. Now this is a little bit different, so I don't yeah, know. You can smell the difference. Oh, oh boy. You might need a beer. Oh, I like it. I do like it. It's very nice. Now it's time we're gonna move out of Blue Zoo and before we go I want to show you a little bit of the bar because I don't know if I did that before. It's pretty awesome in here Look at this place. Isn't it beautiful? This is such a nifty looking lounge Look at the gigantic cones above the bar and then the fish you see it kind of looks like a wave of fish or a school of fish I like it And not to mention this That's actual water on a TV screen. Look at these lights outside of the actual Swan and Dolphin. How beautiful. And usually they have some amazing music to go with it. Oh, they do. It's Coco. Coco. How awesome. 
I was actually trying to show this in the live stream that I did earlier uh, how the lights are synchronized with the music and it wasn't doing it then but now it's like on point we are going to the Atlantic dance hall now this is a dance hall that is on the actual boardwalk no cover charge super cheap drinks Monday through Thursday but today's Saturday so it's regular priced and it's right next to jelly rolls so I'm interested to see his take on this place you've seen us here before uh, when me and Veronica did the Epcot Resort crawl with uh, Josh and Taylor and the Walt Disney World couple and it's a fun spot it really is right now Next to Jelly Rolls, like I said, is the Atlantic Dance Hall. Move, shake, and celebrate. Open 9 p.m. to 2, 21 and up, no cover. This place is a hidden gem for sure. Get ready for a throwback to the 90s. <laughs> this place is one of my favorites places to come hang out and drink and relax really cool 90s music usually it's pretty empty in here tonight is a big crowd and that's not even a lot of people so it's really good seeing that it's getting some good flow in here a lot of people should see this a lot more But if you want to get away, they have an amazing outside sitting area. Let me show you this. Look at that view. Beautiful, isn't it? You see the little spaceship Earth peeking out over there? I love it here. So cool, so relaxing. Very cool spot. Seriously, one of my favorite places right here. So peaceful. I mean, you can hear the music a little bit, but wow, the view is spectacular. And it's really relaxing just seeing the water ripples. And honestly, the whole Boardwalk Resort, the whole Boardwalk Resort in just one picture, one frame. Look at it. I love it. Another really cool thing about this place is they have comfy couches. Oh look, it's my Epcot Spirit jersey. Ah, that's awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> and that was the Atlantic Dance Hall. A very cool spot. I really do like it in there. It's really fun, lots of good music. Like I said, the views are spectacular. Overall, it's a, it's a nice spot, no cover charge. Let's move along the boardwalk. And since we have jelly rolls right across from the Atlantic Dance Hall, don't mind if I stop in and enjoy a little bit of piano music. So, just to give you a little heads up about Jelly Rolls, it costs $15 cover to get in. And it's actually a pretty good deal because the entertainment is fantastic. The drinks are a little bit heavy, like Bud Lights are like $6, mixed drinks are like $10 or $11. They do have some specials and some, you know, keep the cup deals that they offer but this is a staple of the boardwalk like this is the place to be if you've seen the videos in there it is so jam-packed like compare this to the Atlantic dance hall this place is so full I'm sure they hit capacity probably every night
I do keep on coming outside just to give you guys some updates. It is very difficult to film inside there. It is so jam-packed, it's very loud. But I wanna come out and just tell you it's an amazing place and that they have 32 ounce Alabama Slammers for 12 bucks. That's an amazing deal. I'm sticking to my Bud Light though. Oh, wow. Just a small town girl. And with that, I think I'm calling it a night. What an amazing night out here at the boardwalk. Honestly, it was a great time. So, love the life you live. I think it curved an eight. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.